Grade 12 Computer Science allows students to further develop their knowledge and skills in computer science. In this course, students will be asked to use modular design principles to create complex and fully documented programs according to industry standards. Throughout the various units, students will work through the steps of managing a large software development project, from planning through to project review. We will also investigate some of the ethical and environmental issues in computing and discuss emerging technologies, areas of research, and careers within the field of computer science. ICS for You will cover the following units. Unit 1 – Basics of Java Programming Computers have revolutionized our world and made finding the answer to any question a breeze. But does this ease of information come at a cost? We will begin this unit by discussing some of the ethical issues presented by the use of computers at school, at home, and in the workplace. Then students will learn about the three computer programming methodologies – sequential, procedural, and object-oriented. NetBeans Java, the language we'll be using in this course, is an object-oriented programming language so we'll delve a little deeper into that one as we introduce you to Java. You'll learn how to create computer programs with graphical elements to facilitate screen input, data processing, and output. We'll also spend some time reviewing a range of programming concepts and structures, including the use of variables, data types, mathematical operations, built-in and custom functions, decision-making, and repetition. Unit 2 – Arrays and Game Design Think about how often you upgrade to a new phone or a new laptop. What do you do with your old devices? In this unit, we will begin by discussing the environmental issues e-waste presents, as well as some of the governmental and community initiatives that exist to encourage environmental stewardship. Next, we will study the array data structure. Arrays allow programs to store multiple values in a single data structure. In this unit, you will learn how to create and manipulate various types of arrays, including simple indexed arrays, associative arrays, and multidimensional arrays. Once you have expanded your understanding of these various types of arrays, you will get to put this knowledge into practice as you design some basic Java games. Unit 3 – Advanced Java Programming What impact do emerging technologies have on our society and economy? In this unit, we will investigate these questions as well as some of the collaborative and theoretical research currently being conducted in the field. You will also explore some potential career paths related to computer science. We will then move on to study a variety of advanced computer programming topics including recursion and its use in algorithms to solve problems, as well as linear and binary search algorithms. We will also examine various sorting algorithms, including selection sort, bubble sort, insertion sort, and quick sort. Finally, you will learn how to use XML text files to store and share information with applications. Unit 4 – Software Lifecycle it's time to design. This unit will prepare you to design your own scope document. In order to produce a final software application, a programmer must carefully follow the steps outlined in the software development lifecycle and the requirements of their contractor. In this final unit, we will discuss the requirements for your final design project and review the software development lifecycle. Before you can get to organizing your project plan, we will learn what a feasibility study is and how to use a Gantt chart. You will also need to complete the testing stage by having an end user test your program to see if it meets their needs. From this test, you will take into account any improvements or recommendations and develop a plan for updates and program maintenance.